So this project was performed by the um, government of Lower Austria and their GeoInfo unit in collaboration with us, the Finians. And the goal was to identify basic land cover classification um, in the area of Lower Austria. The data which was used are digital author photos, uh, red, green, blue, and near infrared uh, with a 15 centimeter resolution. Um, in addition, there was a one meter terrain model used and a um, surface model which was derived from LIDAR. In this example, the data wasn't loaded directly as a point cloud, um, but essentially it's a, a similar approach as if you load the data directly as a point cloud. As a first step, as always in object-based image analysis, the data is segmented. In this example, since the topic was to identify very specific features, in this case buildings and elevated vegetation, the segmentation was adapted to the problem, let's say, so a conditional object fusion approach was chosen in which the spectral difference but also the elevation difference or height difference and the, let's say, location of the object along the border of an object was used to um, create an optimized segmentation which would in the end um, best identify the, the rooftop areas or components of the rooftop areas. Um, so based on the available segmentation algorithms in eCognition using a conditional fusion and fitting functions, um, the objects were, let's say, adapted to the problem. And as a result, the um, rooftop areas were um, created in a, in a quite suited fashion. In a next classification step, then, those objects were classified, um, first of all, in a basic classification, differentiating between elevated and non-elevated objects using a, a strict differentiation based on a natural or, or normalized DSM, which was created from the DTM and DSM, which was available. So essentially everything higher than a half meter in elevation was identified as elevated versus not elevated. And then a fuzzy logic function using the elevation in combination with the color infrared was used to differentiate between vegetation and buildings. Um, once this basic classification was available, a context-based refinement was applied, essentially optimizing the results in specific areas like isolated buildings and forest, for example, um, also the, along the borders of forest, and then also along shadow areas, so that the accuracy of the result could be improved using the local context functions. Um, finally, as a last step, the buildings were squared up, producing um, buildings which are just more pleasing to the eye, let's say, and also correspond more to how a human interpreter would generate a building. Um, to give you an insight of how these results look, um, there's one example that I'll bring up here on uh, a rural area. So you can see the different elevations in the vegetation identified as polygons and then also buildings as nice square um, objects or, or vectors. The same is applied to urban environments. Also here, the buildings were squared up. The actual data or results were used in sound wave propagation models, for example, and urban planning. So the buildings didn't need to be um, accurate on the individual pixel, let's say, um, but a, a good representation of the building coverage was, was needed. In an accuracy, assessment, the accuracy achieved was um, around 94% for buildings, around 96% for vegetation, um, identifying a building or a vegetation area correctly versus non-correctly. And this was um, checked by a visual interpreter um, visually uh, inspecting the image. The verification area was around 20, uh, 200 square kilometers, and the actual entire project covers the whole Lower Austria, which, which is six, 60,000 sheet lines, and that corresponds to 20,000 square kilometers. So also it's a pretty large-scale project.